Next news in India. Do not buy from Muslims, says a BJP leader in India who's calling for a boycott. Hmm. So a leader of the BJP party in India has called for the public to stop buying vegetables from Muslim vendors, stating that there are growing fear fears that Muslim vendors are contaminating their produce with saliva. Non-Muslim vendors are being given saffron flags to differentiate them from Muslim vendors. And India has faced lockdown issues related to the Muslim call to prayer, or Adhan, and many are pushing for an outright ban on the Adhan. So, um, this is a quote from the legislator named Shuresh Tiwari, um, who says, quote, keep one thing in mind. I am telling everyone openly, there is no need to buy vegetables from Muslims. Um, he said this over um, a video on his phone that went viral. And he's also saying, as a responsible leader, I'm asking them not to take the law into their own hands to deal with the situation, but to simply stop buying vegetables from them. Tell me when I'm wrong for what I have done if, or if I'm for saying such things. So he's like, oh, instead of going to assault them, just don't buy their produce. I mean, I guess that's better than assaulting them. It's still yeah. wrong. It's, <laughs> but it's I mean, a low bar. <laughs> okay, I, I wanted to say something about that. He directly said that because he doesn't want to like completely ruin his reputation and stuff. But the BJP and the RSS, they send people, their smaller organizations and groups after these people. And they do the assault and stuff, okay? For example, even in this case, there were like many Muslim uh, vegetable vendors and stuff, uh, people, they were asked, I mean, they were forced to reveal their religion and their names. And then they were said, we should not be seeing you anymore in this locality or else you will know what's coming to you. And there were these people. So of course they were influenced from these people or they sent those people because they cannot do it publicly, but they can send others to do it for them. Um, I mean, okay. BJP is no stranger to like inciting hate against Muslim communities. Okay, but I'm gonna try to be fair to them. He say, "Hey, I might be wrong. Tell me why I'm wrong." So I guess I mean at least that's good that he's open to criticism. <laughs> I mean, it, to why he's being you know stupid. But okay, so there's the. the there's different reasons why this is wrong. First of all, uh, one of them is that, you know, just don't be a dick to people. These people are trying to make a living. And now, you know, I mean, you think, why are you, what's the point of actually boycotting them? What, what, what is he trying to accomplish? Because uh, they, uh, there's, there's this irrational fear that Muslim people are in, injecting saliva and they're spreading coronavirus to others. Okay. So, yeah, that's stupid. I mean, if you want to make a community of people more dangerous than they are, then be be a dick to them and also isolate them. Mm -hmm. It will have the exact opposite results, like of what this guy is trying to achieve. Like you think, like oh, these people are dangerous. Let's you know, let's you know, make them separate from the rest of society. Let's not interact with them. Let's be mean to them, and that will fix it. No, <laughs> that I mean, how many examples throughout history you need to know that this is actually going to make problems even worse? The way you, first of all, this guy is from BGP, right? Your you mm -hmm. what Europe, what you stand for, and what you represent is horrible. So people could apply the same standards than you, but let's not let's not do what about them, even though I just did. But what what the way you address any problems that you have? So it's fair to say that there are certain problems like that are much uh, much bigger in the muslim community than other communities right more homophobia more intolerance more desire for violence more terrorism and if anybody denies that it's just being unfair to you but collective punishment is not fair there are many people in that community that don't stand for any mm -hmm. of these things and you're you're punishing the children you're punishing the people that do not do these things so you just guilt by association. You are in this community, so go, you know, fuck you. So that's that's not fair. But even if you're trying to achieve the goals that you have, like if you want these people to be less violent, less 
uh, more tolerant, uh, more assimilate with the rest of the community. The best thing you could do is to go befriend them, is to go do trade with them, is to go do business with them, is to get them involved in the activities and society that you're active in. That's the best weapon against this. So, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm going to be fair to the guy. He's saying, tell us why, is, why this is wrong. That's why you're wrong. I'm hoping that he's as open to changing his views once he listens to the other side. I mean, that's that's the uh, one thing I'm worried about. He did say that, yeah, tell me when I'm, if I'm wrong and everything, but that's just him saying that I don't f I usually find these people to be like, especially open to criticism and stuff. They, they, they will just say things, whatever they want to say, but they don't really want to have any discussions about that. Yeah. I mean, be Muslim. Okay. He's what unites all Muslims on one thing that is a problem. They're all wrong. Okay. So they're not all terrorists. They're not all violent. They're not all homophobic, even though many of them are. Um, they're not all many of those bad things, but they're all wrong. They're all wrong about the nature of the universe and religion and every all of that. But being wrong is not like a crime that people deserve to be punished for. Right. Being wrong just means like, hey, we could talk about this and figure out who's right and who's wrong. And even if we disagree, at least we could have a good discussion about why you're wrong and or why I'm wrong. Okay. So if like boycotting people or make you know pushing them into poverty for just disagreements, that's just stupid. Um, Christopher is the top comment on this post is saying boycotting is perfectly reasonable way to show your dislike for company pra for company practices or belief. I refuse to buy uh, certain books due to his bigotry. Um, okay, yeah, but, but that's based on like an opinion of someone. This is based off of a conspiracy that's being passed around that this is what vendors are doing to purposefully harm and contaminate others. That's just made up. Right. I mean, I'm thinking about like you just being like a kid that is selling vegetables to pay for your sick mom and you some of a sudden be like oh your community did this so i'm i'm punishing you and you're like yeah, but I didn't, I didn't i didn't do anything it wasn't me like it's different from like boycotting a company because mm -hmm. i mean you can choose like to be in that company i mean you could technically choose to be a muslim or not but it's not like people haven't been brainwashed since childhood to be a Google employee, you know what I mean? So it's not that it's not that it's not the same thing, right? So yet, uh, no. <laughs> yet, <laughs> maybe one day. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 